Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the transistors. Okay. So today's today's class we will discuss about the what is transistor and the introduction about the transistor and the PNP and NPN transistors. Okay. So first of all, what is transistor? Transistor is the combination of two words. That is a trans plus resistor is called as a transistor. Okay. If you see the definition of the transistor, transistor is an semiconductor device which can transfer the signal from one resistance region to the other resistance region. That is, transfer a weak signal from low resistance circuit to the high resistance circuit. Okay, this is the this is about the transistor. This transistor is used for the amplification pur purpose. Okay, which incre increases the signal strength. Okay, so if you see the types of transistors, there is a first one is a unipolar transistor and the second one is a bipolar transistor. These are the types types of transistor. Okay, the application of the transistor is to amplify the signal, which which will increase the signal strength. Is called as an amplification. Okay, so we'll discuss first what is unipolar transistor. Okay, there are two types of transistors. First one is unipolar and the second one is bipolar transistor. First one is a unipolar transistor. What is unipolar transistor? The unipolar transistor is a type of transistor in which the electric current flows due to only one type of charge carriers. That is either with the holes or electrons. Okay, that is that is about the unipolar transistor. If you see the examples of the unipolar transistor, UJT, unijunction transistor, and the FET, field effect transistor, are the examples of the unipolar transistor. Okay, next we'll see what is bipolar transistor. If you see the bipolar transistor, the bipolar transistor is a semiconductor device in which the electric current flows due to both electrons as well as the holes. Okay, that's why it is called as a bipolar junction transistor. The examples of the uh, BJT, uh, the examples of bipolar transistor is BJT, bipolar junction transistor. Okay, in the unipolar transistor, the electric current flows due to either holes or electrons, only one charge carrier. That's why it is called as a unipolar transistor. In bipolar transistor, the current flows due to both electrons as well as the holes, both the charge carriers, both means bi. Okay, that's why it is called as bipolar, bipolar transistor. The examples of unipolar transistor is UJT and PET. Bipolar transistor is BJT, that is bijunction, bipolar junction transistor. Again, this BJT is classified into two types. That is, first one is the NPN and the PNP transistors. Okay, so these are the uh, types of transistors, uh, BJT. First, we'll discuss about the what is NPN transistor. Okay, this NPN transistor is a combination of one P layer and the two N layers. It is a one P layer and the two N layers. That is, P type semiconductor layer is sandwiched between two N type semiconductor layers. See here, this P type semiconductor is sandwiched between two N layers. Okay, if you see the structure of the PN uh, NPN transistor, so it is a N layer, two N layers, and one P layer. It is P layer is sandwiched between the two N layers. Okay, so it is this terminal. It is the transistor is having the three terminals. This this terminal is called as a emitter terminal, and this terminal is called as a base terminal, and this terminal is called as a collector terminal. This transistor is having the three terminals, emitter, base, and the collector. If you see the symbol of the transistor, this is the symbol of the transistor. Okay, here this is the emitter terminal, and it is a base terminal, and it is a collector terminal. Okay, in the NPN transistor, emitter current direction will be outside. Okay, the NPN transistor behave like two PN junction diodes are connected back to back. Okay, it is looking like PN junction diode. You see here, NPN. Okay, the diode is a combination of one P layer and the one N layer. The NPN transistor it look like two PN junctions are P two PN junction diodes are connected back to back. NP and PN. 
Uh, okay. So this is about the NPN transistor. If you see the junctions here, this NPN transistor is having two junctions. Okay, please assume that this is a junction one. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> assume that it is J1 and it is J2. Bipolar junction transistor. It is having the two junctions and the two poles. That's why it is called as bipolar junction transistor. J1 is a one junction. It is a combination of emitter and the base. This we can also call it as an emitter junction. Okay. This junction is also called as an emitter junction. Next, the J2 junction. Junction J2 is a junction J2 is a combination of collector and the base. This junction J2 also call it as collector junction. Okay, so this is about the two junctions J1 and J2. Now, if you see the uh, definitions of emitter, base, and collector, this emitter first we'll see the emitter which can emit the charge carriers is called as emitter. The doping level of the emitter is high and the width of the emitter is medium. The width of the emitter is medium and which can emit the charge carriers is called as an emitter. This emitter will emit the charge carriers. Okay, in this emitter, the doping level of the emitter is very high. That is high and the width of the emitter is medium. Okay, now we will see the what is base. The base which can bypass the charge carriers to the collector or output is called as base. Okay, which can bypass the charge carriers to the collector is called as a base here. So this base bypasses the charge carriers from emitter to the collector is called as a base. The doping level of the base is low and the width of the base is very thin. Okay, now if you see the collector, this is a collector terminal. This collector which can collect the charge carriers from the input and produces a high output is called as collector, which can collect the charge carriers and produces a high output is called as a collector. The doping level of the collector is medium and the width of the collector is very large. Okay, this is about the emitter, base and the collector. Okay, so if you see the width here, this width will be large in the collector. And if you see the uh, base, the base width is very thin. And if you see the emitter, emitter width is medium. Okay, this is about the emitter, base and collector definition. Now, if you see the uh, uh, NPN in NPN transistor, as we discussed already, in NPN transistor, emitter current direction is outside and the base and collector directions are inside. Okay, based on the emitter current direction only, we can say whether it is NPN or PNP transistor. In emitter current direct in NPN transistor, emitter current direction is outside. Okay, if we apply the KVL here, KCL here, so here. For this transistor, emitter current direction is outside and the base and collector currents are inside. According to KCL, some of the currents entering into the node is equal to some of the currents leaving the node. Here, for this transistor, the entering currents are IB plus IC is equal to leaving current is IE. Okay, if we rearrange the equation, we will get emitter current IE is equal to here yeah. emitter current IE is equal to base current plus collector current emitter current is the combination of base current plus collector current Okay, this is the NPN transistor equation. Emitter current emitter current is equal to base current plus collector current. Okay. Now we'll discuss about the PNP transistor. 
Now, we'll discuss about the PNP transistor. So in the PNP transistor, this two P layers and one N layer is a combination of, the PNP transistor is a combination of one N layer and the two P layers. And this N layer, N type layer is the N type semiconductor layer is sandwiched between the two P E type semiconductor layers. Okay, now if you see the uh, symbol of the uh, PNP transistor, this PNP transistor is a combination of two P layers and the one N layer. And this N layer is sandwiched between two P layers. Okay, this uh, this terminal is called as an emitter terminal. It is a base terminal and it is a collector terminal. And this, if you see the symbol here, in PNP transistor, emitter current direction is inside. In NPN transistor, emitter current direction is outside. In PNP transistor, emitter current direction is inside. So it is having the three terminals, emitter, base, and the collector. Okay. If you see the, uh, this PNP transistor, uh, junctions here, it is also having the two junctions. It is a junction J1 and it is a junction J2. Okay. This junction J1 is a combination of junction J1 is a combination of emitter and the base. This can also call it as emitter junction. Now, if you see the J2 junction, J2 is a combination of collector and the base. This junction, we can also call it as collector junction. Okay. Bipolar junction transistor. It is having the two junctions. And if we see the symbol of the uh, PNP transistor, this is a symbol. As we know already, this is a in PNP transistor, emitter current direction is inside and the base and the collector junctions are, oh, sorry, uh, current directions are outside. If it is inside, these two are outside. Okay, if we apply the KCL here, according to KCL, we know the formula that is some of the currents entering into the node is equal to some of the currents leaving the node. Here emitter current is entering and the base and collector currents are leaving here. Emitter current IE entering is equal to base current IB plus I see. Okay. So this is the equation for PNP transistor. Emitter current is equal to base current plus collector current. Okay. This is about the today's class, about the introduction of the transistor. In the next class, we will discuss more about the transistors.